in your block books. Basically, it's M45. It's been up there for a long time. It's the option that I showed you in the past. Uh, this, that's what the amazing thing is, folks. It's 35.7 trillion miles average radius. And I'm going to show it to you right now. And I'm going to put a big thank you out to the guy that basically, I think he subscribed to my channel a long time ago. And he does a great job. You'll be able to go to his video. Now, the largest that it ever puts off of a CME re reactive flare is this here that it was caught back in 2007, very dramatically. This is how big it is, okay? It's an actual planet. Space is massive. Everybody always says, well, all those planets would get, it's already smashed into most all the crap that it's ever going to smash into, at least we hope so, in space, okay? So it moves back and forth between the Sun, Supergiants, and Jupiter. Space is massive, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. If you see those shots from Soho, H1, H2, all the stuff, distances are humongous because this is exactly, I'm going to show you again, that object is 35.7 trillion miles average radius. Okay? So you can about imagine how big this actual outline. Okay? So it is what we are seeing rise down there. In Hawaii, take you to the rise time. Okay, that's where it's at. You can find it at. That's what it's in with, and like I've always told you, four to seventy-eight times. This and as you see, we've got the fetchy dates and times here, and basically it will show you Venus flaring as most as we've ever seen it flare before. And you have to remember that how huge M45 is. Okay, it flared this big back on that, and then the fact is too when you go here and watch his video he will explain also that the idea that Soho was only like two point something away from Earth at the time so it was a lot closer shot okay uh, satellite was very close to it so it was a much larger looking okay but you also will see other uh, I can take down here and use a slider and you will see a lot of other uh, factors in this shot so I'll take it down a little bit and adjust and move right back so when he takes you to it, he'll show you a solar flare, and you can see it looks like a peach right here. And it's the super giants. And he takes you to the H1 that's there. You will end up getting this huge flare. And you've already seen the stats, and I'll take it back. Take you back to the stats on M45. Okay. And I can take you through this here. And here's more facts here, folks. And it's a good factual thing that more than likely the sun was moving into the super giants in 2003 or so, but you can see what was going on in 2007 as it caught these flashes. You see, you see there's a massive planet here and also a massive planet there. All right, You can also see the massiveness of M45. And it'll take you right to the sky so you understand that M45 right now is a long ways out in space, but right now that's what you're seeing that's coming up behind in between Jupiter and the Moon, okay? And by looking Terrace, see how Venus looks big right there right now? And uh, Jupiter's bigger, we know that, okay? It's a massive object, but M45 is bigger, as I take you to the stats on that, again. And you can watch these rise and set times, and it'll match what you see in Hawaii, okay? Not filling you full of anything. This is all raw data, folks. This stuff exists. There's some of the nearby supergiants that are near it. In space, massive, ladies and gentlemen. And in modern day space travel, and it's getting closer, folks, that's not that damn far. Okay? So we're safe. But it, with the mass of it, it's 35.7 trillion miles. Okay? 37.9, 37 379.7 light years away. I'll do the math for you. I just don't want you to shit your pants. So there's the distance from Earth that is. Okay? 2.2321 quadrillion miles. Okay? But remember, it's huge. All this stuff is huge. 4 to 78 times the size of the sun. Okay? And yes, it is average radius of 35.7 trillion miles. So you do the math on what I just gave you and you will start shitting your pants. Yes, we're 
boys have to worry about how close the damn thing gets to us. Okay? Makes common sense. So this time I'm showing you at the mesh where's RAM 45 is tonight over North America, folks. And as you can see, our axis tilt, we have tilted a lot towards the sun and the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen. The sun and the supergiants are out there. They've been out there for a long time. They never have just all of a sudden showed up. It's just all of a sudden the sun is going through the supergiants' main sequence, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the one thing he has to understand is he thought it was the Earth and the Moon in Stereo B. I got bad news for everybody. It wasn't. Okay? He was incorrect on that. That is M45 back there behind the planets. Okay? It does a little head fake bob move out there. They overlay all these shots, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, if I leave it there, you'll see the other planets. Right here, you're going to see another planet as I shudder back and forth on this. Okay? They do overlays, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? They do overlays. There is way more than one massive jump up in the supergiants. Okay? Now, this is from 2007. We figured that the sun more than likely went in there in about 2003 or so, maybe even earlier than that. I keep on trying to nail that down. Okay? So, he is somewhat correct in most of this information. But you see, that's not. They do overlays. And I'm going to show you some more footage of the meatball here in a minute. Because I got another one to show you. And so I'll hurry up, give you this information, and you can go watch his video. And he'll show you where it's going along. And he'll even have the map up there, okay? So that camera was really close to that when it flared. Okay, so that's why it looks so big. And he'll explain that too. Okay, and I have his size here. And basically, we can see 7.75 times the mass of the sun. We have a list of a bunch of them here. Okay? And basically, it's super giant here, folks, is what we're listing here. Distance from Earth, how far they are away, they're farther than the sun, which is good, okay? And it's a lot of, basically, I'm going to come down and we should be able to show you, okay, there's your size of your planets, okay? And I think I'll be able to hurry up and give you, Earth is way smaller than that in the next scale, but almost you just have to figure that it's even smaller than Mercury when you look at these other super giants, okay? Yep, yeah, folks, they overlay like crazy. Okay, they overlay like crazy. So watch the beginning of this. And you got the dates down there on everything. We're about to mic check. They have tried like crazy to hide it. Okay, and they can't hide it anymore. The meatball M45, ladies and gentlemen. And it's pretty much over years, billions of years, has nudged everything that it's going to nudge. Hopefully. So, if there has been axis turn, we don't really know. Scientists have not actually told us straight up. Well, they seem to have said that we've got north and south pole change before, so is it going to come up from low end to us? We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be a long time till it does, but. It's not going to be that damn far off. It could do that. And they do not like saying that, but you never know. So, if they do that, then it's going to or not. I'm not the fear mongers. They are the fear mongers. Okay? I just know it's out there and it rises and sets, and we'll be able to keep an eye on it. Because now you know where it's at. Alright. So, that's pretty much it, folks. It's out there. So you'll see it, you can see it here in these overlays here because there was a comet that came around in 2007 and that's where he was able to end up catching this footage here. And just remember the time, that the days are going by really fast here also, so you see it move real fast. Okay, one more time, there she goes. And you've seen the mass of how the and as we say, that one shot shows you the flare humongous because the idea that Soho was real close to it, and I believe it was Venus, could be wrong, but I'm pretty damn sure it was Venus that did it. 
and then there would be Jupiter in between there and the mass. Either that or it was Jupiter who did it. But Jupiter has done that because I've caught that in 2007 also. And I don't know if he heard that from me a long time ago and then went and looked at it, but there is footage there of also Jupiter doing the same thing. Okay, so it does that, and you, can, you see a flare. So it's not a camera flare. It is a CME reactive flare. Okay, the CME is from the sun, hit it somewhere in the atmosphere out there around Jupiter and or Venus and you get this and then that comet was making the sun flare in the first place as you'll see that flare there from the sun to the left and no folks this isn't the sun there okay that's M45 because it's that damn huge okay And then it'll show you the flare up there, I think, of it. And the camera was real close. So, and you could also see the meatball right there. You can see it there. So if you go in that footage there, you can see the meatball right there left. See that left here, right here? There's a the meatball. Okay. Go and watch this video and I'll be able to take you to it. Because he has an all map going through space and everything up there on the top. He'll have all the maps for it. Okay, so the camera is really close, so it looks like a huge flare, but that is the biggest flare we've ever seen. Venus that on so that we know of. I'm pretty sure it was Venus. Okay, and then you get all the other information of M45. So I'm going to let it play and get you more action of it. So here's more fact that it's there. There's the flare that it puts off. There's the comet coming into the sun because the sun was flaring because it wanted to kick that comet's ass because the comet gets into the sun's area. Okay. And then we get a massive CME reactive flare off of and when you watch his video of the 2007 action, you'll actually see that this comet almost basically bounces on the sun's field there. Either that or a planet that we don't see because it's masked, overlaid. You know, it bounce back, bounce back and up, and over something. It's very interesting. And you'll also see, and that's some CME action. That's very, it hasn't been seen since that wild CME action there. As you see, it's on that side. And you'll also see it over here because this shoots across space, folks. You see how big it is? It showed up on the other side. See that? Let's see if I can get that to show up again. And as you see, you see the Jupiter Venus the blast, CME reactive blast. And then you will also see uh, M45 flash on the other side because basically these are both shooting across to each other across massive distances in space. See that flash on the left hand side? Watch it again as the comet comes in. Go bounce, go up. Blast. And then you'll get the flashes of M45 getting x rayed across space, folks. If you'll get x rayed across space, and it'll pop up over here on this side. You'll see it from across shot. See that? Bam! There's also a trailer comet. You see that trailing comet coming in? Very interesting. So that's and that's also good for our uh, basically our uh, watch the clocks. He's got a match pretty good, I think.
but it just shows you that comet coming in and then you get that shot x-ray across to M40. M45 is out there more later.